Okay, here's the garage update. I just picked up this Polaris Assault a few weeks ago. Uh, the recall for the fuel pump wasn't done, so I had to bring it in, bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't have actually done it because I think it's kind of a crock, but it becomes a liability issue on my end if I don't do it, so I brought it in. Um, fairly decent shape. It's a 21 850 with, I think about 2,800 kilometers on it. And I just did the chain case fluid, tightened the chain, um, doing a few other things. Now, if you come around to this side, the jack shaft bearing, I cleaned it out because it was completely, I guess like the grease was completely burnt up to the point where there was metal shavings in there. And this is a common failure on these sleds. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to dig into that one. I've been doing a lot of research on this exact issue and it seems to be fairly common with 2021s and actually I think the affected sleds were 15 to 21 because 2022 they actually updated the jack shaft carrier which is this right here jack shaft bearing carrier sorry uh they updated it to a new style because the inside ridge here uh, you can't see until I pull the bearing but the inside ridge that surrounds the outer housing of the bearing actually has like a lip to it so that doesn't evenly transfer I guess the torque that's the best way to put it like will not transfer evenly across that bearing and it'll cause pressure heat uh, can cause it to crack and then essentially it'll just blow out and yeah your secondary clutch is gonna fly around everything's gonna get destroyed your tunnel your heat exchanger so I'm gonna have to replace the bearing I was gonna repack it and then realize that's kind of stupid so I'm gonna get the updated carrier uh, I spoke with Polaris they're kind of limited on what they'll tell you uh, it should be a recall really but they consider it a pro tip which is the bottom of the list as I'm told so it's just basically like a recommendation to a dealer mechanic on what to do with this situation and what they're saying is replace this carrier and put a new bearing in and now they're also saying potentially replace the jack shaft and I haven't gotten a definite answer on that. I tried contacting them and the only thing they gave me part, part numbers for is actually the carrier and uh, these mounting screws here. So if you look at the top, it's actually riveted into the top there. So I'll have to like screw those rivets out and then add machine screws to the uh, new assembly. Uh, I've heard that you can pull this bearing by propping the shaft out and try and use like a bearing press, I guess, to pull it out, which I, I could see that being a 50-50 on working. I might try that, or I might just go ahead and do it the old way and pull the chain case apart, pull the gears off, push the shaft all the way through and replace it properly on my bench. Uh, now I do deal with bearings a lot at work and I'm fairly familiar with this kind of stuff, so it shouldn't be too bad, but it is a pain in the ass when, honestly, this should have been covered from Polaris. This is like, one of those things that yeah it's high failure rate from what i've heard i've talked to a lot of people and technically kind of dangerous if that blows like you're gonna have your secondary clutch flying around right where your leg is uh, it can basically shear apart there's yeah a lot of stories and stuff i've heard with people but i guess until somebody actually gets injured and tries to sue them they're not going to make it a, a recall and just make it a pro tip so i'm going to deal with it myself instead of bring it back to Polaris, spending a thousand dollars on parts and labor for who knows what kind of work they're gonna do. Uh, not bashing guys, but I just like to do things myself and have it done properly, because I know I'm doing it myself. Uh, I already spent two days dropping the sled off uh, for the fuel pump recall, which is kind of a crock, because really it's out of how many sleds were recalled, how many were actually affected, right? Like it's such a limited number. Uh, there was like one injury and you never know with that, right? So yeah, kind of getting a little bit annoyed by it, but at the end of the day, all sleds have their problems, Polaris, Skidoo, Articat, whatever it may be. And you know, I've had actually one of these, uh, I had a 19 Pro S 800 and it was a great sled, good chassis. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. Try and do some how to's. Um, yeah, it's kind of a low case sled, so it's not gonna need too much, but just maintenance on this end and then uh try and upload some other videos i got a stanley welded boat here i did the wheel hubs on it i just have to edit that that's a how-to video 
yeah, I got the bike here. The garage is just jammed with shit right now. So um, that's kind of where I'm at. Just keep trying to update videos and get the time to do it.